It's the soul for me. I'm always about investigating someone's soul and someone's heart. The thing that makes them the most vulnerable. And that's hard to do because you can only, most times you get that from meeting someone or meeting someone they were very close to. But I think with Jean-Michel, there was a very direct connection from his heart, mind, and soul to his canvas. So when you look at his canvases and his artwork, you see words, sometimes political words. You see musicians' names, things that he was inspired by, sometimes circled, sometimes crossed. I think you get to feel his life and his experience in real time via his canvas. So that has been one of the things that has been such a tool and a resource for me. I bet the world looked very frightening to a young Andy Warhol. And it seems to me that the world was so very frightening to Andy Warhol that through some sort of desperate magic, he managed to change the world into seeing him as a, as a star. And, and I think that sense of relevancy is, is kind of par, par, paramount to him, or at least my interpretation of him. And, um, and that's because it's where his safety comes from. And I think that then meeting this young man who's, you know, in the ascendance, uh, and he's a neo-expressionist, it must have felt incredibly regressive to Andy Warhol as a, as a conceptual artist and also and just frightening because the market is telling him that this is important. You don't see me on stage until I am already an ex. And, um, and we, you get the sense that there, you know, there's an, there's an unsustainability about the relationship because of who they both are. And so you see the end of the relationship told through my eyes. Um, I am actually only on stage with with Paul playing, being uh, Warhol. And we both get to speak about our relationship separately with Basquiat and how hard it is to be loved by him and to love him and to want to nurture him but not be able to and to see his self-destructive tendencies and there's just a bit of bonding between the two of us as two people who kind of wish they could be closer to this shooting star that is ephemeral. What drew me to this was kind of long-term interest in art, so, but who doesn't, right? I mean, we're all interested to some extent. Um, but I happened to be in New York, Lower East Side, about four years ago with a friend of mine. He said, do you want to come to a basket exhibition? Never been to one. Um, it was at the Brand Foundation. And so we went and saw that, and he said, by the way, there's an Andy Warhol retrospective at the Whitney. Um, why don't we just walk across the Lower East Side? So we walked across Lower Manhattan where Andy and Jean had haunted the streets and um, Jean had died uh, you know on Great Jones Street and and we started talking about the fact that these two very different artists had collaborated uh, for a period of about two and a half years on a series of artworks and having seen both exhibitions in that same day I went I don't know how that works they're so incredibly different I mean John is a deep and meaningful, almost mystical kind of uh, artist, and Andy's all about surfaces and trying to almost eviscerate the, the artist and say it's, you just need screen printing, it's all about surfaces. And um, it's triggered a, 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 a sort of growing interest in, uh, that I was developing in putting famous people into dispute people who occupy different philosophical positions. Do you find yourself drawn to one of these artists more than the other? What a brilliant question. I, I don't. I find myself drawn to both of them for different reasons. To Andy. Andy w is a leader at that time. And, um, and what happens when you're a leader and you've been established for a while, the, the new young Turks are coming out to prove themselves through you. And, uh, and, and actually you have some things to, to offer, but you also question your own relevancy. And, uh, and I relate to that, being a, a, a leader of a theatre and, 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 and being the age that I am. Oh, Basquiat. So what does that mean? Are you the young Turk or are you the one fighting for relevancy? Well, I, 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 I like to think that I'm both, right? In that um, with Jean, what I re really respond to is a sense of him looking at the world 
and saying, this world is topsy-turvy. And, and I want to reflect that energy through my art. I want to, the things that have gone before me may not have captured all of me. And I want my art to be all of what I am, all of the cultures that I am. And I find that fascinating and I relate to that very much. So actually the combination of being, am I still relevant? But there's all of these stories left to tell, um, means that I find myself on a daily basis engaged in both characters.